And even at 15, I'm like, no, I only have a plan A. Why would I need a plan B? Yo! We're here filming our first snooze episode. We're gonna interview some cool and inspiring people here in the morning so we will see the true face. And who's here today? All right, yo. So that's a place where you get inspired for your songs? Yeah, definitely. I think the first song I wrote called Shania Twain, mm -hmm. it was because I needed to find strength. Like yeah. I needed someone to give me like an anchor, like on this boat, like yeah. to pull in. Because at that time I wasn't like strong. I was just going through that, you know, really deep emotional heartbreak. How is it to write a song? I always try and write with like, my, I guess my heart yeah. and, and that means I tell my story mm -hmm. and I have to try and make sure that I'm as raw as I can be because mm -hmm. usually then the song becomes like really me and really authentic. I have to find out how can I write so I can maybe help other people who are going through the same or something mm -hmm. similar or you know who've lost someone so there's I'm just always trying to find better ways to, yeah, to, to write songs that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So you're writing a new album right yes. now, right? Yeah. What's it called? It's called Fearless Lovers. Mm -hmm. I want to try and be as fearless as possible in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I went from this stage of heartbreak to hope mm -hmm. and from pain to power. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I broke up with my boyfriend and I started writing the album, mm -hmm. I thought I was going to write about you know, all other kind of things, mm -hmm. but it just happened and I just wrote the first song mm -hmm. and then I was like, whoa, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not just me, it's also kind of the universe and you know, what happens that mm -hmm. kind of writes. And so mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing now. That's mm -hmm. cool. Is it possible that you play a song for us now? Hopefully you can play, mm -hmm. play with it. Sure. It's super cute. Yes, yeah. it is cute. <laughs> and it's, it's a sailing guitar. And yeah. a private concert. Yeah. Nice. Did you teach yourself with a guitar? Uh, well, my dad had guitars when I grew up. Mm. He was yeah. collecting them. Mm. So they were hanging on the wall, almost like art. On the boat? Um, no, in our house. <laughs> uh, so when I was 11, I was just tall enough to reach them. Yeah. And I remember just sitting and my mom, she was the guitar player. Mm -hmm. and she would teach me the first chords mm -hmm. but then I just got so hooked on guitar like I just thought it was so much fun mm -hmm. and I really just loved just sitting with the guitar when I came home from school and just be a nerd mm -hmm. yeah so that's kind of how I started Say you wanna own a nightclub but girls are easy to impress fell in love with all your madness I'm not your doctor but you seem depressed 160 days of sadness A big black hole inside my chest I finally get to change my status It feels so good, I must confess It hit me like, woo I can't believe it's true Think I'm over you I got sunshine for a week I put my shades on so you can see, I need some good times desperately. No, everybody better come and dance with me. Mm. And then my boyfriend, he was like, he was gonna go to Ibiza. Yeah. And I was like, really? Yeah. So second was like, you say you're going to Ibiza, but not with me, just on your own. Whoa, it's a little late at 37. You think I'm gonna stay and wait at home? And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna wait at home. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna... You don't know what you got until it's gone. It 
hit me like, woohoo, I can't believe it's true. And that's when you realize, oh wow, I am gonna get better. Is this gonna get better? <laughs> and I just need a little bit of sunshine for a week. I put my shades on so you can see. I need some good times desperately. Now everybody better come and dance with me. Thank you for this live concert. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. We've been sailing, we've been concerting, we've been talking. Yeah, it's yeah. been an amazing day. We had a sing game at home. Uh -huh. You know these games where you have mics? Uh huh. It's, and what's the song? Wait. Uh, um, you're driving, you try in the music. Geronimo. Yeah, Geronimo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yes. I love this song. Oh. I love this song. <laughs> yes, I love this song. <laughs> Gigi, Jojo, la la, let's go to Ronimo. Say, say, so, so, la la, let's go to Ronimo. How is it for you? Maybe it gets too deep, but um, in this whole, I call it business, uh -huh. um, do you feel like it's hard to meet really good friends who are really like interested in yourself, not the thing you do or the how big your songs are. You know, you know what I mean. Mm. Well, yes and no, but of course it's different to meet someone who doesn't know what you do or what your life is like. Yeah. And sometimes when you have, when you are um, in the public, it's like people kind of know, but they don't know. Mm -hmm. But they maybe will know more about you than you know about them. Yeah, yeah. Then you have to like ask a lot of questions to be at the same place. Mm -hmm. But I, I've always just really, because I love music so much, I don't feel like I ever lost myself. Because yeah. I had this like, anyway, music is much bigger than I will ever be. It's like I'm just this little girl on a wave, mm -hmm. but it's a huge wave of music. And, and your new new album is is really inspiring and powerful for us women. Mm -hmm. Yes, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. One of the first songs I wrote it had like teardrops are falling on my guitar. Mm -hmm. I played the last song at the bar yeah. when I found out we were three, not two. Mm -hmm. I lost all my faith in you, and then mm -hmm. that just opened a whole chapter and a door yeah. inside of me, mm -hmm. and I could just write all these like love songs, or. Yeah, mm. and getting out on the other side, like sunshine, yes. and be mm. like, okay, I'm taking my power back, yeah. digging into the workhaft or like this, like in this power place yeah, yeah. in myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, I'm not gonna let anything stop me. It's like a yeah. diary you share with with so many people, which yeah. is good because you can help other other people. But it's do. also giving the opportunity for maybe not everybody, you know can find the right words, they will mm -hmm. have feelings, mm -hmm. but they don't know what those feelings are. Mm -hmm. yes. But then you hear a song and you're like, oh, that's exactly yeah. how I feel. Yeah. And somehow it helps you to know that you're not mm -hmm. alone. Because I think sometimes we feel like we're the only person on the planet who's mm -hmm. going through something. Mm -hmm. And music can help you, you know, to just have a good time, mm -hmm. but also it can give you that moment of Ah oh, wow! Somebody is going through it, or somebody has been there, and now we're mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So it's like a, yeah, it connects people, and I love that so much. It's really yeah. about that connection and and yeah, inclusiveness. What is your dream? What do you dream about? Your future? Or I have so uh, many dreams. I have yeah. so many dreams. I am hoping, you know, that that I'm making a difference because I'm not a politician yeah. and I'm not some kind of religious figure, you know. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm one person, one person army with my guitar and and I want my songs to just, you know, if it can bring joy to people's lives or mm. help them in any way, a shape, form, it's like, then mm. I feel like I'm ha I have a job, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm doing something and I'm doing something good. Yeah. I'm not wasting my time. Yeah. So that is my dream. My dream is to keep creating and keep writing and, and keep releasing music mm -hmm. and and entertain people, you know? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this, I was in, um, mm -hmm. I guess it's called Pop Stars. It's like X Factor when I was 15. Yeah. And there's this really cute clip where the judges ask me, do you have a plan B? And even at 15, I'm like, 
No, I only have a plan A. Why would I need a plan B? There is a lot of ups and downs and questions and people that I have to like figure out how am I going to like deal with this situation. Mm -hmm. But I think that's going to be in life no matter what you do. So it's better if you just do something that you love. Mm -hmm. And I happen to love music. And so there's no other way for me. You know, I want to design. I want to like um, study at some some point like mm -hmm. I have yeah. books I want to read I want to like yeah. edu keep educating myself so I think life is long like that and you mm -hmm. don't have to pick one thing forever yes. I mean you can also learn learning by doing a little mm -hmm. bit so basically you just have mm -hmm. to be brave mm -hmm. like you have to okay I can feel it in my stomach I really want to do it yeah, yeah. And then check in with yourself, am I doing it for the right reasons? Mm -hmm. How does a perfect morning look for mm -hmm. you? Like when you wish, like, oh yeah, yeah looks yes. like yeah. breakfast in bed or, yeah. or do um, you snooze often? You know what, I love just waking up whenever I wake up and I don't know what time it is. It can be like 6 a.m., it can be 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But just like waking up at my own pace, like no like snoozing, no yeah. alarm clocks. I hate alarm clocks because yeah. they're always like, oh, and you're like in an Back. in your face yeah. Yeah. yeah so really just like waking up and then maybe um i love to eat fruit in the morning like mm -hmm. pineapple or mango and mm -hmm. blueberries like really like light fruity things and a cup of tea and then i like to read like mm -hmm. yeah. i'll find like something that will inspire me for the day and then i can like start writing so i'll always write a few pages in the morning mm -hmm. um and then if I have some kind of inspiration with that, it's just like looking at beautiful pictures or something like that. Mm. It's, that's just a great way to start. And then I'm inspired and I'm mm. like super light little breakfast and then I can go about and start my day. But what would you tell like the people who are watching now? It's, like, what do you, what message do you give people? <laughs> you know? What's like... We have to try and, and if we're not in the right place, we need to move. And we cannot be scared to move. So I think checking in and not being scared of changing direction in life is probably the best, um, the best advice. To be brave as well and take chances. Yeah. Um, because life is gonna happen. Regardless of everything, we're gonna live. Yeah, and I think when you're happy, you make other people happy. Mm. Yeah. Can I hug you real quick? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mm, this was such Thank a good you. day. Yeah. And are you ready to sail back? Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. set sail and get going. So that was our first news video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite wake up song is. And don't forget, here you can listen to our playlist. Over here you can see more videos. And down here you can like and subscribe. Yeah. Happy snooze. See you next time. <laughs>